Hey guys, Dr. Anthony Pellegrino from Absolute Chiropractic, and it's unfortunate, but most of us have had it happen if we've been driving for a bit, especially in New Jersey, and that's being in a motor vehicle crash. Now, sometimes we have almost the luxury of seeing it coming. We could be sitting at a stoplight and see somebody coming up way too quick in the rearview mirror, and we can be getting sideswiped. And the advantage of being in a situation in which we see a crash about to happen is, is that if we understand what a whiplash type injury is, what happens during a crash, we can make split moment decisions that help us to minimize our impact, minimize the risk of potential, not only immediate, long, immediate change, but long-term change as well. So let's say we see a car coming up or coming from the side. One of the initial reactions that most people are gonna instinctively has is that they're gonna to turn to the rear view mirror or they're gonna to turn to look at the car that's coming at them or they're gonna to turn to look away from it. The problem here is, is that with at the time of an impact, with every degree that our head is actually rotated, and we creates more and more and more shearing stress as our head goes back and forth during the accident and makes our risk of long-term change from a whiplash injury significantly higher. So let's say you do see that car coming, what you're gonna wanna do is actually look straight ahead and brace, brace yourself, brace for impact, okay? Look straight ahead while we're doing that. We should also be jamming our head and our body back up against the headrest. Years ago, they had, they had very low headrests, which put it at a much higher risk of whiplash injury because what would happen is their head would extend all the way back like this and come forward. It's really smart people in the automotive in industry, what they started doing was putting higher headrests here. And the concept there was that if we have a high headrest, the farthest my head is ever going to come back is this far. Now, People still get whiplash injuries in accidents though. We can be leaning forward, our head can come back, it's not blocked. But what'll happen is even if our head is back like this, in this impact, as we get hit, our head, honestly, the, it, the, the, way that the weight of our head is compared to the weight of our neck, the head weighs so much more. So what'll happen during an impact is the neck and body will come forward while the head is in the same space. And this motion like this, creates this extension and then coming forward and that can again create a whiplash injury. So not only should we be jamming our head back against the headrest, but we should all be also be jamming our body, body back as well as we brace to help stop us from coming forward and creating that. The last thing that I want to talk about, obviously besides having a seatbelt, I hope that goes without saying, is that we should actually jam on the brake. Now this is counterintuitive if you were just thinking about reducing uh, vehicle damage, because if you're on the brake, when you get hit from behind, it's gonna cause that car to smash into you way more. But your car has amazing crumple zones. It is designed to crumple. In fact, the more that your car crumples, the more the force from that car goes, from the impacting car goes into your car instead of in your body. So jam on your brake to make sure that your car doesn't jolt forward. If it jolts forward, again, what's gonna happen is that body's gonna go with it, head's gonna go backwards, and we have a whiplash injury. The best thing that we can do, again, is be braced, foot on the brake, body back, head back. That's our lowest risk. If our head is turned, it increases our risk of a whiplash injury. And even here, we can see change at as little as 10 miles an hour. So even a fender bender just at a stoplight can cause change, okay? If our head's rotated, if we're not taking any of these steps, it can go down to five miles an hour for a whiplash injury. Regardless of the impact, regardless of whether your head or turned or not, Regardless of what's going on, if you're an auto accident, I highly recommend being checked by a chiropractor to see if there is any whiplash type injury there that needs to be corrected. The greatest window for the most amazing reversal change is the first three months prior to the accident. The sooner you get in and start getting checked, the better your off is going to be. The remodeling phase of the spine prior to an accident is a one year period where we can still make the most reversible change. It is absolutely crucial that you get into a chiropractic office as soon as you can after an accident to make sure that your body is gonna heal and recover as best as it possibly can. Don't just be by yourself though when you go into the office. If you have a wife, a husband, and kids in the car, they absolutely need to be checked as well, even if they don't have symptoms. Hope you guys got a ton of good information about here, about this, wear your seatbelt, brace yourself, and chiropractic's awesome, so make sure you're getting checked.